Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's your boy Dangerous Duke. And your boy Stevie Jobber. This is the Dangerous Jobbers podcast. And for the next 15 minutes, this is a segment we call The Dark Match featuring Alex Kane. People have been asking me to be the best in the Why, Eddie, why? Yo, so ladies and gentlemen, I just want to start by welcoming in uh, one of the biggest names we've had on this podcast that has graced us with his presence again, the MLW World Heavyweight Champion, the leader of the Bume Fight Club. Captain, captain, we're captain. The captain of the, the Bume Fight Club. And the man going into fight land November 18th to go one-on-one -on -one with the Samoan werewolf, or that Samoan hoe, as some might call him. Samoan uh, hoe, Jacob island hoe. The mm -hmm. island hoe. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex Kane, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, I'm in here, let's go. Boom, hold on, we got you some got applause the for title it. And the ECW title in there, that's dope. Uh, I had a whole I had to hide my uh, intercontinental title because I know you were eyeing it up last time. I was, and uh, it will be mine. Uh, I'm going to be hiding. I, I'm going to be hiding. I don't know where you can find me. Let me come. Let me come down to Florida right quick. Let me be. Uh, in Florida. See, look, it's look over. what I did. It's over. Snatch. Yeah. Nah, but how you been, man? How's everything been? How's life been treating you? Life has been good. Life has been very, very good. Um, you know, just trying to stay busy. Um, going back and forth with that whole Matt Cardona on Twitter has been mm. a blast. Um, mm -hmm. You know, getting ready for uh, Fightland uh, against uh, Jacob Fatu, a match I've wanted for a very, very long time. So for it to finally be happening, mm -hmm. I'm excited. Ask and you shall receive. Um, it's funny that you, you mentioned that you're going to be fighting Jacob Fatu, and Stevie gave you this miraculous intro. But since the last time you've been on, a lot of stuff might have changed for you. So for those of you or for those of the listeners who don't know you or don't know too much about you, let them know who you are and where they can find you just kicking ass on a regular basis. Uh, So, yeah, I am Alex Kane. I am the suplex assassin, uh, suplex specialist, as, as I like to say. Um, I am based out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I've been with MLW for about two years. I've been wrestling for about five um, I have been pretty, I've been, they've been almost all over the world, almost all over the world. Um, just whooping ass, taking names. Um, I mainly in, in the, while I'm in the States, I mainly wrestle up and down the East coast. Um, that's who, uh, likes to pay me money. So that's where I go. Um, of course. you can find me on Twitter at Alex underscore Kane 11. You can find me on Instagram at the suplex assassin. You can find me on TikTok at Alex underscore Kane 11. Um, and you can find me on YouTube, you know, just type in Alex Kane. Uh, there's not many black, there's actually no other black Alex Kanes other than me. So <laughs> it'll, it, it'll be an easy find. Yeah, yeah, see, fair point, fair point. Um, but I also wanted to ask, because the last time we talked to you, you mentioned how your main goal was just you wanting the venture into other promotions throughout the country, just getting the name Alex Kane and Umaye out there. And I have done that. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, what's the uh, what's the experience been like going into these other promotions, uh, just building yourself up, if you will? Like, how's the reception been for you, for the other people? I mean, for me, I mean, it's 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 way cooler now because a lot of these people like watched me kind of grow up and watched me grow into the wrestler and the man that I am today. So that's really that's always been dope. But it's always been a great experience. Um, I've always been treated pretty well um, as far as being booked and stuff like that, um, especially like when I was first coming up, because like I. <sighs> I did this uh, future showcase uh, thing in Chattanooga, Tennessee, and that kind of put me on the map. And from then on, it's just been like a steadily, it's been a, it's, I've been on a rocket ship 
I haven't hit. I've, I guess I've hit a moon or whatever. Mm-hmm. I've hit the, the the second moon. Um, so it's been it's been really really awesome. Um, I'm extremely thankful. And then you got that world title to carry around with you as you enter into these other places. World heavyweight championship to carry around with me. Mm-hmm. Yes. And people be asking, do you have it? It goes everywhere with me. Yeah, it's good. So. Before you were the world heavyweight champion for MLW, you were their open weight champion as well. Yep. And when you won that, you wrestled a few people. One of the people you wrestled was Alex Shelley, who now is Impact's world heavyweight champion. Mm-hmm. With them just recently announcing that they're going to bring TNA back and it's going to be TNA once again. Um, I just wanted your opinion. Do you think that it'll be beneficial for them in the future? Going back to the name, and do you think since you wrestled Shelly, it's possible some way, shape, or form you might pop up there sooner or later? I don't know. I, don't know. All, I don't know. I mean, uh, we all love TNA, um, and I hope that they are. I hope that they uh, succeed. Um, yeah, but I don't know. We'll see. Just can't give away too much. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Well, well, going back to Bumaye and um, the history of all the different members that helped make it what it is today, uh, of course, with you as captain, the fearless leader, uh, a former Bumaye Fight Club member and Myron Reed, the young That boy, hoe, that whole yeah, hoe, uh, and a half. I'm going to wrestle him on yeah. uh, November 22nd at JWA, Janesville Wrestling Alliance. So if you live in Wisconsin, come see the match. Um, but he, he put out a little promo, which I still got to respond to. And he was like, I'm not forced to be behind you. And I'm just like, dog, you're a grown-ass that's exactly, man. That's exactly what I wanted to talk about. I mean, you are a grown-ass man. How do you feel, man? Forced uh, to be behind you? Uh Matt says, man. because he makes he's the rules, a, he doesn't think you're ready, man. No, 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 no. Fuck all that shit. He knows I'm ready. He knows <laughs> I'm ready. Or whatever. Yeah, he didn't he didn't put on a little muscle. He didn't he didn't really he didn't leaned out. He look he looking good. He looked good. He looked good. He's mm-hmm. a young goat, Myron Reed. Uh, but I'm whooping that ass. Um but <laughs> back back to this whole being forced to be behind me. One, yeah. you was you was behind me because you couldn't lead. And I can and I can tell in that little promo that he did or whatever, because that mm. promo was ass. I was ass, but you know it works for him. Um, but uh, nobody forced you to be anywhere. You you have you always have a choice. You almost always have a choice. You could have been like no, and walked away, but you didn't because you wanted to be there. Mm. I'm about to fire this man up. Don't mm. I can't wait. I just I like, the light light him up. I like the I like the energy, man. I want to beat his see. ass. Because I mean, he was feeling himself, man, and he, he really he was. With, he led with all that love first, and wishing you happy birthday. Yeah, all that, Telling all that proud good he was. And... He a he a hater, like like yeah, he gave me all the damn love, but like just the tone of the video and everything. He a he a secret hater. Yeah. I don't know what he hating for? Doing it on a low key tip. Doing it on a low key tip, man, is a hater. Oh, that, see, that's that's why I didn't want him in the Fight Club in the first place. But mm. you know, it's kind of like he's biting a hand that feeds at that point. It really is. Like I mean, Dom was like, "Yo, look, this could work. It make it, it could work." But then when we got him, we actually got him in there. He wasn't playing ball. He was on some whole shit. He wanted everything to be about him, and it's not about you. Hell, even though it's technically about me, I'd be trying to make it about everybody else. You see the damn, you see the fight train, you see the people coming out, with me in, coming out with me in the entrance or whatever. I'm trying to, I'm trying to put other people on or whatever while I'm rising to the top. Uh, I've and that seen man, that. Just, on more than one occasion. I mean, that, I would say naturally, if you eat and everybody else is eating too. Exactly, but he didn't see it that way because he ho, he, he dirty little rascal. I guess that's how they do that over there. Mm-hmm. The Speaking, of Speaking of hoes. So before we get to the big fight, a little. People have been asking me to be the best in the world. Why, Eddie? Why? I'm 